Are you working long hours in front of computer screens? Do you notice fatigue and eye strain? Then you might want to give Flux a chance. Full disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. Flux has been around on my PC since 2010 and one of the first things I do when I set up a new system is installing and configuring Flux. The discussion about blue light and bad sleep has picked up in recent years, which led to the so-called dark mode for smartphones and even Windows PCs. Windows even has some sort of night mode now. However, there is very little you can control and you have to rely on what Microsoft deems appropriate for you. This is where Flux comes in very handy, giving you full control over color temperature throughout the whole day. The main promise is making your screen look like sunlight during the day and warm at night. Flux can be downloaded for free, you can find a link in the video description. The main window of Flux is quite uneventful, but very powerful. You can set the colors and schedule. Some presets already exist that you can select on the top right hand corner in the drop down menu. Before you select any preset though, you should set your location. To do that, you simply right click on the Flux logo in the system tray and then select change location. Now that you have a location, you can change to a different preset if you want. Most of the time, recommended colors is already a very good choice. If your eyes tend to get dry over time, you might want to consider lowering the color temperature during the day. I've set mine to 5200 Kelvin for the working hours. A practical feature is that over time the color adjusts. You can see the blue, yellow and red faces and the color temperatures will be adjusted accordingly. However, the transition will be very smooth and you will barely notice anything. Especially during late hours or the night the color temperature will drop a lot and you will be surprised that after a while you are accustomed to that and will hate the brighter colors. As I said, you can adjust the daytime, the sunset and the bedtime temperature colors to your liking. In case you want to do some color sensitive work, you can of course disable it. You can disable it for an hour, until sunrise, for full screen apps or in case you have more than one monitor attached, you can disable flux for separate monitors. Other colors and effects can be chosen, but they are most likely too extreme to permanently use them. So this is how you use flux in a nutshell. For questions please use the comment section, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to help the channel and we will see you in the next one.